Hi, I'm Mr. Lucas Southerton. And I'm Captain Tech Ed Man. Today we're gonna show you how to make a mousetrap car. Here are the supplies you'll need. You'll need those two long strips of wood, your four inch block of wood, a one inch block of wood, a mouse trap, a 12 inch arm extension, a 17 inch string of wire, a 10 inch string of wire. These are both 24 gauge, that's nine gauge. Duct tape, four plastic wheels, your two steel axles, zip tie, two CDs, a few rubber bands, and about 30 inches of dental floss. What do you think there, Gracie? Okay, the first step is I'm going to attach this arm extension to the mouse trap. You'll notice that there is a little hook on the spring that comes over the mouse trap. That's the side that you want to attach this to. Now, I'm gonna attach it with the wire and the duct tape. The length of wire you're gonna use is the 17 inch length of 24 gauge wire. And yeah, almost attaching like a twisty tie. A um, little, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna jam this in there to hold it up for me. Next, you'll build the chassis. You'll take the mouse trap, put it on top of this board, and you'll put these boards on either side. Make sure that the holes line up. And then you'll hold the whole thing together with rubber bands. Next, it's time to put the wheels on. Now, the wheels might have a little bump on it. You can sand that off with sandpaper. You might be able to pick it off with your thumbnail. If you don't have any of those, you can use a rock because a rock is kind of like a piece of sandpaper. And look at that. Got the thing off. Okay, so I'll have to do that to all the wheels. Next, you'll put the wheels on the axle. Now, if you have a hammer, you can tackle with the hammer. But if you don't have a hammer, you guessed it, you can use a rock. <laughs> okay, Clara, I want you to put this axle through that hole. Go ahead. Okay. Now these wheels, on the opposite side of the mouse trap, we'll need to have CDs on them. So we're gonna use tape. So next I'm going to take my 10 inch length of wire and I'm going to fold it in half and twist it to make a little loop. Three loops that are about three inches apart. And then that gets fastened right here. So and then take a little bit of duct tape.
Okay, so next I'll take my zip tie and I'm gonna zip tie it to the axle right here. I'll get as tight as I can. It can't slip on the axle. And it seems like it is slipping a bit, so I think I'm gonna reinforce it with tape. Then I'll take a pair of scissors and just snip it off. And I'm gonna tie a loop in this end. And a loop on the other end. And then I'm gonna loop this through this loop. Now I don't wanna actually tie it because I wanna be able to transfer from one loop to the other. So watch carefully how I do it. I'm gonna put this loop through And then I'm gonna take this loop and put it through here. And then it's sort of like it's tied, except it's easy to get off. And believe it or not, I'm finished and it's time to launch. Dad. Okay, to wind the car up, I'm gonna take this loop and I'm gonna hook it over the zip tie. So, hook it over the zip tie. And then I'm gonna twist it up, and I might need to sort of just help it out here a little bit by getting that spring. Okay, so it's wound up all the way. And let's see if this thing works. And if this was a really smooth surface, it probably would work better. Well, it seems like it's managing. The hallway of a school would probably work best. Oops, watch out for that. So on this rough road, it probably wasn't working too good. But if I put it on this nearest hole, it'll have twice as much power. Actually, here, Clay, you, you let go. You, you put your finger on the wheel. Now let go. But let's just see how it goes on this concrete. All right, mouse trap car, go! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah!